Hey Geeks, this is Jim at MajorGeeks.com and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about DPI scaling. Uh, I ran into a couple of issues and it reminded me that this would be a good video to make. And DPI scaling is the type of issue you don't really know you have until you have it. It affects those who, of us who are running a high resolution monitor. In this case I'm running 4K and you can see under my display settings. I have uh, uh, 3840 by 2160, and then I've changed the font scaling from 100%, which is unreadable for me anyway, uh, to 200%. So that changes the scaling of the fonts, but that causes some problems with programs that are not DPI aware, which is dots per inch aware. Um, older programs, uh, some that they have the DPI built in. So th there's a couple of ways about it. And the, the number one issue I had was with uh, Photoshop. So I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to open up my Photoshop here. And at 4K, this is Photoshop 12 for those of you keeping score. It's uh, about a 10 year old program, but I refuse to pay, what, 20, 25 a month for it. So I still use this when I need it. And you, as you can see, these icons, these texts are very, very small, almost unreadable, um, making it hard to work. The, the, the screen format still works. You can work on a picture just fine or photo, photograph just fine, but you can't see what you're working on. So what you want to do is change the scaling of that DPI. And there are some accessibility reasons to do that. So you, you want to do the first thing you have to do is you need to find the actual executable of the program. Um, if you look here, there's a shortcut to my Photoshop EXE. So that to get to the actual executable, you click on the shortcut properties and it just open file location. It's going to bring you to where you need to go. And there again, you're going to right click and go to properties again. And you want to go here to the compatibility tab and ignore all this stuff for this doesn't really matter. You want to click change high DPI settings. And this is going to take you to the scaling issues, the 200%, those sorts of things I showed you before. What we're going to be concerned with is high DPI scaling override. So if you check this box, it allows you three options application system and system enhanced and i'll link to an article below where i explain these more in detail but the application says hey use the application that's the default this is the application photoshop use that the system says hey use the system itself windows when it boots up it's going to tell you what the dpi behavior should be or system enhanced which does some scaling of the fonts and the bitmap graphics which in this case, Photoshop uses bitmap graphics, those icons, and we want to scale those as well. So what I'm going to do is click System Enhanced, click OK, click Apply, right, and click OK to get rid of it. And you'll see, clear it out. I'm going to start Photoshop up again. And it is much easier to see these graphics are you know, proper size. I can see what I want to click up here in the menus much more usably use usable, usably. That's a new word. Can somebody Google that? Let me know what that one was. And, uh, you know, again, just easier to use, easier to see. One of the other issues you may see um, so that was with Photoshop old. It's an old program. It was written before 4K monitors. One of the reasons that reminded me to do this video was I was working with a uh, skin that Ada Skins had made for Major Geeks, a little free skin. And I'll link to that below as well. But when I loaded the Ada Skins in, I... Uh, it, the scaling was just off and, and I couldn't figure out why it's a uh, 1920 by 420, I think, skin. And oh my God, that's horrible, right? Like, you know, I was like, oh, oh dear, what's gone wrong? 
So what I found out, oop, let's get rid of this. It got me thinking. I said, well, what if we use the DPI scaling? So again, I went to compatibility and change the high DPI settings, override. And in this case, I just use system. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. And click OK, apply, OK. And we're going to run it again. And dun, dun, dun. this comes up and the skin looks, well, if it were up here, it would look beautiful. See, everything's lined up. Everything looks beautiful just the way Ada Skins had intended it for us. So that was pretty cool. So again, if you're running a 4K monitor and you're running into some of those display issues, uh, that's the easiest way to fix some of those uh, without having to drop your beautiful 4k monitor down to like 1920 resolution or something like that so there you go a little quick uh quick how to thank you very much uh you guys enjoy your day be safe out there thanks bye